this, right? You're able to observe it. So once you realize who you are, what you got to do? Step on this side and teach your people. The kingdom of God is within you. You, you, you. Once you wake up and teach your people, the kingdom will come. No more do we have to get gunned down. No more do women have to be raped. No more do we have to hate each other. Y'all got to see that. Stop saying, I want change. Do it. Everybody ain't gonna make it, brother. One third. One third of our people will make it. Two thirds will perish here in Babylon. Don't tell you nothing different, bitch. We are the prophets of the Most High. We're not gonna tell you what you wanna hear. We don't speak smooth words. Right. We're not gonna prophesy blessings. Right. We're gonna tell you, thus saith the Lord. That's right. And that is that if you don't repent, death is coming. Right. Read that. Isaiah 29 and 13. I know you've never, you never heard this before, right? Because guess what? You have been taught this Bible by your brother. That's right. But guess what? In these last days, God is waking up the true men of God to teach his people and bring us back into repentance. Right. Because you are the Israelites. You are the chosen people of God. Read. So they read. So they what? So they read. So they what? So they read. Read. Which thou leaving shall be magnified. So our race will be magnified. That's right. Race is in the Bible, brother. That's right. God is a racist. Ah, shalom, brothers and sisters. We are out here today to teach you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who you are according to the Bible. That's right. All right? Give me Ezekiel 311. Because in 2016, we still lack the identity of who we are. Right. We still carry ourselves as black, as Native American, right. as Hispanic, as Latino. All right? You are none of those things. That's right. You are the Israelites of the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 11 and go get thee to them of the captivity All right, so the Bible gives very plain instructions of what the true prophets of the Bible should do he says go get thee of the captivity what captivity is he talking about the transatlantic slave trade right all of you if you are black Hispanic or African descent you can relate to the transatlantic slave trade God told us to go to you. Read. And go get thee to them of the captivity. Of the captivity. How do we know you are of the captivity? Because you lack the understanding of who you are. You cling to whatever title is given to you. Right. Read. Unto the children of thy people. It says, unto the children of thy people. Bring it out. Everybody is not my people. Right. All right? One love, one world is not. against his father and against his mother. And we have come to do the same thing. All right, we And speak unto them and tell them, uh -huh. thus saith the Lord God. God says to tell them, thus saith the Lord. Right. We are here to tell you what the Bible says, to instruct you in righteousness. Right. All right, in righteousness. What is going on today? We have a parade going on down the street. All right, we just left a gospel fest from down the street as well at FAMU. Why are we taking part in the ways of this world? All right, our people are being shot dead in the streets. Our women don't know how to cover themselves up. Right. Our men are homosexual. Right. All right, you are the first fight in the last height, and you find time to celebrate a parade on the large Sabbath day. Right. Right. How is that? How is that? Yet tomorrow when you go to church, you cry and you scream for God to give you blessings. That's right. But you don't want to obey God. All right, give me Deuteronomy 30 and verse 15. How you doing, sis? Let me talk to you, sis. Let me talk to you. Where are you coming from? Huh? The parade? Yeah. Let me talk to you, sis. I got something 20, 30 times better than that parade. I'm teaching what Christ taught, repentance. And your nationality. All right, read me that. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. Uh huh. See, I have set before thee this day uh -huh. life and good. So, we have come out here today to set before you life and good. What is good? God's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Your Christian pastor is not going to teach you his law. Right. He's not going to show you what's right for you. Come on up, sis. Let me talk to you. What's your nationality, sis? 
African American. All praises, all praise. African American. Now, sis, I see you got that onk on your neck, right? Do you do you claim some knowledge of the, the Egypt Egypt uh, knowledge? You think you're Egyptian? No, I don't think I'm Egyptian. I just um, I'm partial to anything African. You partial to anything African? Okay, okay. So, sis, let me ask you this. You said African American, right? So, is Africa a country or a continent? Okay, all right, I'll stand. And America, is, uh, what's America? America is a country or a continent as well, right? You have South America, North America. So when you say you're African American, that's what you said, right? You said you come from two different continents. So wh what nation do you come from? I guess I am a member of the African nation, but... Africa is a continent. What nation in Africa do you come from? I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know, all praise. That's all I wanted. Give me Isaiah. Chapter 1 and verse 3. All right, sis, uh, what, what are you doing here in Tallahassee? Well, I'm from Tallahassee. I'm okay, you're local. Okay, all praise, all praise. How old are you, sis? 23. 23. All praise to the most high. 23, and you have not learned who you are, right? Have you been to church? Um, I'm not religious. I consider myself spiritual. Okay, you consider yourself spiritual. You're using very, very key words, sis. But first, I'm going to show you that it's prophesied in the Bible that you would not know who you are. That you would claim that you are African American, that you would be partial to every different African religion, mm -hmm. but you don't you don't deal with anything dealing with Africa. Read that. Isaiah chapter one and verse three. Uh huh. The ox knoweth his owner. So the Bible says the ox knoweth his owner. Read. And the ass his master's crib. Those are two dumb animals, right? But they know their resting place. If I asked them what their nationality was, so to speak, they would know, right? Read. But Israel, but, who? but Israel, but Israel, we does not know. But the Israelites, what is your knowledge on the nation of Israel, if you have any? Very limited. Very limited. Okay, okay. Now, good, good. I got must know that. So, when you read the Bible, sis, is everybody equal to God when you read the Bible? I don't too much. Read. You don't too much read the Bible. Okay, good, good. Give me Isaiah 34 and 16. So. The this is, Bible. This is a religion. This is a religion. No, this is not a religion. This is historical fact. Right. All right. This is the true spirituality that you think you have right now. Right. But I'm gonna give it to you, sis. All right. Because guess what? Any knowledge that you think you have right now, the Bible surpasses it. You just have not been taught it correctly. That's right. That's why right. you said that from the Bible. Because look, I'm gonna show you your history in the Bible. That's right. Read that first. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Now, did you hear that? What is the book of the Lord, brother? The Holy Bible. Would you say the book of the Lord is the Bible? Most people would agree the book of the Lord is the Bible. Okay, a few books? Huh? No. The Bible. When it says seek out the book of the Lord, it's talking about the Bible. The Quran is a holy book, too. The Quran is a holy book? What does holy mean? Huh? Well, I would, I wouldn't necessarily, I would define it as a Christ, because okay. Christ is the only Messiah. Okay, that's what you, you said. Okay, you're saying a lot, sis. We're going to get, we're going to get to it. Finish that, though. Finish that. Finish Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Uh-huh. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Now, you said that this is not the only book of the Lord. Now, we must clarify if this is the book of the Lord first. Give me Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. I'm going to show you. The book of the Lord is the Bible for one particular reason. What is what contained in this Bible is not contained everywhere else. That's right. The book of the dead does not contain what the Bible contains. Right. The Quran does not contain what the Bible contains. Right. Read that. Right. Ruth, four, Ruth, Ruth chapter 4 verse 1. Hold on, sis. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the what? The book of the commandments of God. In the book of the dead, there are no commandments. That's right. In right. the Quran. They do not contain all of the commandments. No the problem. Quran just recites what the Bible says. Right. But it does not have the original commandments given to the children of Israel. Right. So when it says seek out of the book of the Lord, it's talking about the Bible. Continue. This is the book of the commandments of God. The commandments of God are only contained in the Bible. Read. And the law. And the what? And the law. Read. That endure forever. Uh -huh. All day. That keep it. Everybody that keeps the commandments of God, read, shall come to life. You will come to life when you keep the commandments of God. Right. That is how we know that the Bible is the book of the Lord. Because our people have tried every other book, religion, and knowledge on the face of the earth, and we are still at the bottom of society. That's right. right. Read. But such as leave it. But when you leave this Bible, like our people have done, read. 
Shout Doc! Shout Doc! Come here, brother. So, when I was finna show her was her true nationality in the Bible. Right now, you claim to be a so-called African American? Black? Well, what, 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 what do you uh, identify yourself as? Huh? A victim of America. A victim of America. I like that. So, what would you claim your nationality? What is your nationality? I would say black. You would say black, right? You wouldn't know, right? Daniel 9 and 12. All right, good. Of African descent. Okay, I can live with that. So, like I was showing the sister, Africa is a continent. All right, Africa is a continent. Now, I'm going to show you why you lack the understanding of who you are. You say a victim of America, which you are. That is correct. But you're not able to say exactly where you come from, right? Because that was stolen from you. Our nationalities were stolen, correct? Read that. Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 12. Uh-huh. And he hath confirmed his words. Not that. I'm sorry. Uh, I want confusion of faith. 9 and 7. Daniel, chapter 9, verse 7. Uh-huh. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee. So, righteousness belongeth unto you. I know you always felt that your people are above and better than all people. You always felt like, why are we at the bottom? Because something inside you triggered you to come over here. So, somewhere along your life, you knew that some greatness lives within you. That's Read. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee. Righteousness belongeth unto us. Read. But unto us, uh -huh. confusion of faces. R listen, brother, what did I say? Unto us what? Confusion of faces. What does that mean to you? What would you say confusion of faces would mean? There you go. You hit it on the head. You hit it on the head. If I ask every black man up here, each and every one of them would give me a different answer right. for what their nationality is. Right. Prime example, I just asked that sister. She said, I'm African American. Then she said, anything uh, anything contained to Africa, that's what I belong to, right? But when you read the Bible, the Bible is very plain. We know exactly where we come from because of the curses written in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Now, let me ask you this. What is your knowledge of Moses? Do you have any knowledge of the Bible and of Moses? Tell me something about Moses. What was Moses famous for? All praises, all praise. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Good. I thought that was an exodus. That's an exodus. But when you read the first five books, Deuteronomy gives more details of what happened. All right? So we're going to read what happened once the children got out of Egypt, right? When they were making their trek into Jerusalem or the land of Canaan, the Most High gave uh, uh, Moses, what did he give them to give to the children of Israel? Do you remember? He gave them two tablets. Do you know what they contain? There you go. He gave them the commandments. Now with those commandments that he gave the children of Israel, he gave them two options. Two options, all right? Just like we said earlier, life and death were given to the children of Israel. Read verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Now this is what Moses said to the children of Israel once he received those commandments. Read. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God says, if the children of Israel did not hearken unto his commandments, read, to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, read, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, God says, if we did not obey his law, statutes, and commandments, he would place curses on us. You heard this before. I read it. Where, where did you hear this from? I read it myself. You read it yourself, okay. But you didn't get the true understanding of it at that time. Because if you did, you would be on this side of the poster. So what I want you to do is take it in. Don't try. I want you to put whatever you had in the past, just put it to the side and just learn right now. All right? So what we're going to do, we're going to read these curses, right? Because he just said, if we did not obey the commandments, what would happen to us? He would put curses on us. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 30. Bring it out! We're going to show you the curses of the Bible that identify who the black, Hispanic, and Native American man are today. Right. You are the children of Israel. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 30. Uh -huh. Thou shalt be a wife, uh -huh. and another man shall lie with her. When would a man have a wife and another man lie with her and we could do nothing about it? When did that happen to the blacks? Huh? All praises, brother. All praise. You're a wise brother. During slavery that happened, right? Did that happen to the uh, Chinese man? Did he have his wives taken from him and raped? No. Did that happen to the Korean man? No. Did that happen to the white man? No. Right. So I'm showing you these curses are only for you. Read. 
Thou shalt be told the work, and another man shall lie with her. Uh -huh. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. When did the black man build a house and not dwell inside of it? During slavery, right? Master had a real big house, right? If you ride around Tallahassee, you see all these big grand homes, right? But what did the blacks say? What did the slaves say? They stayed in the outhouse. They stayed in the outhouse, correct. Read. And thou shalt not dwell therein. Uh -huh. Thou shalt plant a barnyard, uh -huh. and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. When did we put in work, days, years, and not gather any paycheck for it? When did that happen, brother? During slavery, right? That happened to you as well, correct? That happened to our forefathers. It happened today. It's still going on today, right? Uh, yeah. Because I use this example a lot. Let's just think McDonald's, for example, right? McDonald's. If I go to McDonald's and I get a Big Mac meal, right? If I get an extra large, it'll probably come out to about nine, nine twenty, right? More than How much more than does an employee make, make an hour? He might make the the, the standard for America is seven eighty nine. So in an instant of five minutes, I, they just made my wages. Yeah. Do you get that? So we're not gathering the grapes today. We're still slaves to this system and to America. That's right. All right. We built this country and we are not reaping the rewards. Right. Now, I'm going to give you some more curse. I want to make sure you know who you are. I want to make sure you know who you are. This is another curse that only happened to the children of Israel. All right, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, the Lord said he's going to bring us into Egypt again. What were the children of Israel when they were in Egypt? What was their classification? Were they kings and queens? What were they? They were slaves. They were slaves. They were slaves, right? So if he said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt, what is he trying to tell them? That they're going to be what? They're going to be slaves again. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Egypt again means what? Slaves, slaves again. Read. With ships. So he said, I'm going to bring you back into a place, a position, or status where you are going to be slaves. With what? With ships. And the way you are going to get there, into that position, would be by the transportation of ships. Who did that happen to, brothers? That happened to us. Who else did that happen to? Nobody else. What is the Bible trying to tell us? That we are the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. All right? And it's high time that you wake up out of sleep. So, we established that we are the children of Israel, correct? Would you agree? Would you agree? Just those two curses. But guess what? The whole Bible is written about you. Right. This is your history. Right, right. This is your book. Right. Give me John 8 and 8. Why do, we, why do we come out here to teach our people the Bible? Because it is high time to awake out of sleep. That's, that's right. We have been lulled to sleep in these Christian churches. That's right. Your pastor is a liar. That's your right. preacher is a liar. Right. And your teacher are liars. Right. They are not teaching you what is beneficial and profitable for you. I read that. Job chapter 8 and verse 8. This is what the Bible tells us to do. For inquire, uh -huh. I pray thee, uh -huh. of the former age. God says we must inquire of the former age. What happened two months ago? What history am I correct? What history did they teach you before the slave ships? What did they bring to knowledge for you? Did you learn anything before the slave ships during Black History Month? Huh? Uh, white man. No. About your history, did you learn anything? Did you learn anything before the slave ship? I was studying on my own. You were studying on your own? What did you learn? They got something from me. I learned, I learned that, uh, well, that we the Hebrew Israelites, one first and foremost. You learned that we are the Israelites? Yeah, because, because, okay. because, you know, the internet nowadays they up with YouTube. Right. You know, they, 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 they up with the internet. Right. It's because books are available now. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, if you don't know your history, you don't want to know your history. I agree. Because, you know, I learned that we were rich. That we were rich at one point. But today, I'm, I'm back. Back and, and we built the pyramids. We, we did build the pyramids. Okay, all praises, all praises. Now, I say that to say this. Because the brother said, YouTube messed up, right? They messed up when they let us in. All right, read that. Psalms chapter 85, verse 11. This is going to let us know what times we're living in. Read that. Truth shall spring out of the earth. Read that again. Truth shall spring out 
of the earth. The Bible says that in the last days, truth will spring out of the earth. Read. And righteousness uh -huh. shall look down from heaven. You what? see that? And righteousness will look down from heaven. Because in these last days, God is waking up the true men of God to bring us back into repentance. That's right. To teach us who we are. Guess what? Christ is on the scene. Give me John 14 and 26. I'm going to show you that today Christ is moving and working. We are going to get back to our true nationality and we are going to repent and Christ will return and save us. If we repent. Read that. John chapter 14 verse 26. Uh -huh. But the comforter which is the Holy Ghost. But the comforter which is the Holy Ghost. Read. Whom the Father will send in my name. the Father will send in his name. Read. He shall teach you all things. He shall what? Teach you all things. Christ is the one that's teaching us today. Read. And bring all things to your remembrance. And do what? And bring all things to your remembrance. Right. Like you said, you are going to remember that you are the children of Israel. You are going to remember that your forefathers built the pyramids. That's all right. right. You're going to remember that. And guess what happens when that? When you remember who you are, this kingdom will fall. That's right. That's right. right. You understand that? So, next up, brother. Now that we know who we are, what do you think God wants us to do? We got to get away from this white man materialism. There you go. See, Let me niggas, uh, separate yourself. Niggas want to be free, but they, they want the materialism with it. There you go. You hit me on the head, brother. Because like I just mentioned, what's going on down the street? What are they, what are they taking part in? A parade, right? What does the black man, Hispanic man, have to celebrate today? Nothing. We don't have nothing to celebrate. We don't have our own businesses. We don't have our own bus systems. We don't have our own school systems. Why are we celebrating and holding hands with our oppressors? We keep this bus system afloat. Huh? We keep this bus system afloat. There you go. We keep it afloat. Why don't we take our own money and create our own systems, our own transportation, create our own jobs for our people? Do you get that? You won't be you separate, yep. right? Second Corinthians 6 and 17. Gotcha. Alright. Yes. Got it? Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Uh-huh. Wherefore, come out from among them. What did God say? Come out from among them. God says that you must come out from among these nations. Right. Read. And be ye separate. And what? And be ye separate. God says right. that you must become separate right. in all things. In your economy, in your clothing, in your schooling, in your transportation, and in your religion. The white man's Christianity is not yours. That was given to you by your oppressors. That's right. The Bible was given to us. And only us. Alright? We say it the Lord. Uh -huh. And touch not the unclean thing. And do what? Touch not the unclean thing. It says, come out from among them and touch not the unclean thing. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.